Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I hope you guys have been doing really well. I have missed you guys and I'm really excited to be filming this, um, I was gonna say episode, because I think of my podcast. Um, but I'm really excited to be filming this today for you guys and catching back up with you. Um, if you guys listen to my podcast, which is Manifest with Tori D. Simone, there's a new episode every Monday. In my last episode of my podcast last week, I mentioned like kind of wanting to come back to YouTube um, because of a couple of things I'll update you guys on later, but I kind of wanted to just gauge your interest and see if that was something you guys would even be interested in. And the amount of DMs I got was so overwhelming and it was so kind and so sweet and I am so excited to be back. Honestly, when I uploaded my last video, I think it was in December of last year, I remember uploading it and saying like, I'm never doing this again. Like I am not uploading YouTube video in 2021. I am not doing it. My time is done. My time has gone. Like I did the whole YouTube thing and I loved it when I did it. It was just confusing and I just didn't really know where I fit in anymore on the platform and if I still even wanted to do it. Um, it just felt more like a chore to do it than something that I was fun and excited to, to do and to look forward to. And it's never felt like that. So I was like, all right, this is when it has to end. But I still love my podcast. So I shifted all of my energy towards my podcast and you guys have really been patient with me and really been kind with me and have just been so warm and welcoming to me wanting to come back and me figuring out my time and figuring out if I even ever did want to come back. Like I came on YouTube as one person and I kind of just felt like an obligation to stay as that one person on YouTube and you guys kind of saw it throughout the past couple of years. Like I changed my Tori Sterling to Tori Simone. I took a break and I wasn't sure if I was ever gonna come back. Um, but recently I've had a life event that I'm so excited to talk to you guys about. And this life event has kind of brought me, I'm moving, that's what it is. Big shocker, I'm moving, everyone moves. Um, but the move has made me really want to, like I started looking at apartment tours, tours, as people on YouTube say, apartment tours. And um, I was like, you know what? Like, I really miss this. And like, I really want to share this stuff. And I just feel like there's so many parts of my life that I could be sharing and I don't know like if people want to watch it they can if they don't they don't have to but it would it's something that would make me happy and I was missing it and you know what like why wouldn't I you know what I mean like why wouldn't I so here I am back that's where I've been and why I stopped speaking of what I've been up to I'm currently at the beach um it's September 8th when I'm filming this how annoying of me to have a garment I'm like what's the date Oh, I'll get into why I have a Garmin too, but um, yeah, September 8th when I'm filming this, I know it's going up next week, so I'm filming this last week when you guys are watching it. This week while you guys are watching it, I'm actually currently moving and I'm filming it too, so there'll be a moving out tour or a moving out vlog and a condo tour because I've never filmed my condo tour, um, but I'll get into that too. Yeah, I'm at the beach right now. Um, I actually just wrapped up my season down here at the beach. If you guys don't know, I own Spin Studios and I have one in the suburbs of Philly and one in um, Jersey at the Jersey Shore in a town called Sea Isle City. It's not Seaside, that's where they filmed Jersey Shore. It's way north of here. I'm Southern Jersey, so it's Sea Isle City, New Jersey. And um, I finished up my season. We go Memorial Day to Labor Day, so we finished two days ago. It was an incredible season and now I'm just here kind of enjoying it, relaxing. September at the beach is the best. It's very quiet down here. Pretty much everyone is like back um, in the city and in the suburbs. Everyone started school again. So it's very quiet down here, which is why we close. Um, but it has been amazing to be down here. Yeah, so this summer was really just spent at the beach and um, doing a lot of spin. Like I said, I've been loving my podcast, Manifest with Tori Simone. It is my favorite platform and I don't think that's a secret to anyone. I absolutely adore my podcast and all the listeners of it. Um, it's a very like-minded community and I am so in love with it. So I record that um, on Thursdays and that goes up every single Monday um, anywhere that you listen to podcasts. And I also want to start doing video podcasts. Now, the only thing with that is it's literally just me. Like I don't, I normally don't have guests, but if I do have guests, they'll be in it, but I normally don't. 
so would you guys want that but i can put that up on these on this channel too and that can go up on mondays because i want to put up my videos on wednesdays so you can get like a monday and wednesday video if you guys would want a video podcast if not no worries just thought i'd ask okay so let's talk about the big thing so i sold my house and i'm really happy that i sold my house so i call it a house but it's a condo and i'm gonna do a condo tour um i'm filming it this week and it's gonna go up next week and that's gonna be like a condo tour and a moving vlog the reason why i never filmed a condo tour was because when i bought my condo i was very much so in the thick of youtube and i bought it and then my grandpa emailed me and he was like i don't think that you should do a condo tour because it's private place and you don't want anyone from the internet finding out where you live. So since my grandpa asked, I never did it. Um, and now that I'm moving out, I feel like it's a good time to do it. Yeah, so I'm moving out and I am thrilled to be moving out of there. Don't get me wrong, I love that condo and it served a really good purpose, but I'm ready to move on from it. Um, the housing market, as you guys know, is crazy so i actually put in two offers on two different houses and i didn't get either of them and i lost by a lot which is crazy because i went over asking for one of them um and no hard feelings though i totally get it so i ended up getting an apartment and i'm so 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 excited um i've had two apartments before the first one was when I lived in LA when I was 15. That was a mess because I was living with two other roommates and I was only gonna be there for a couple of months and it didn't end so well. And then the second time I lived in Philly with two other roommates who I adore, I'm really good friends with. One of them's actually still my employee um, and that was all great, but then COVID hit. So I ended up subleasing my room and I moved out of my apartment. So this is my only apartment that I've ever had by myself and i am really really excited it's also the only apartment that's like my home like when i had my philly apartment i still had my condo but it was when i was setting up sea isle so being and we didn't have the house yet so being in philly was a lot closer and the commute was a lot easier than like from the suburbs from my condo so that's really why i got the philly apartment um but yeah this is like my first apartment that it's my only home and i am really really excited i am working with an interior designer on it so i'm hoping it's gonna be really cute i'm not exactly sure what my vibe is um i'm watching a ton of apartment tours tours to see what i like and i'm really really excited to decorate it and i'm like addicted to danielle's moving vlogs right now and literally like when she, it's like crack like i she posted i'm like i need to watch it so i assume other people are like that too with moving vlogs so that's also a big reason why I want to come back because I want to share it selfishly for myself because I love watching them. And I also think that if I'm recording me packing up and moving in to somewhere else, it will make me work better. I'm literally giving myself one week to completely move out of my condo. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I am. I work really well under pressure, so I'm like, one week, I'll be good. So literally one week and then I'm moving out of my condo. Um, but then I have like two and a half weeks where I'm not until I move into my apartment, because um, it's brand new, I'm the first one to live there, I'm so excited. Um, but I can't move in until October 3rd, and I move out of my condo September 18th, so I'm like homeless for a couple of weeks. So I'll probably be at my parents' house or down here at the beach until I'm good to move in. Oh, this is something that I'm really excited about. I am creating a planner. Yes, I'm creating a planner. Long story short, I love planners and you guys know that. I posted planners on here before. I talked about it on my podcast. Like literally I'm planner obsessed. I remember like when I was in LA in 2015, me and Kenzie and Elizabeth got the passion planners and we would like color code every single thing. Like we spent like three hours when I just like color coding our planners. Like I'm planner obsessed. So a couple weeks ago, I just found myself like writing my own planner. And I was like, why don't I just make this like a thing? It's been something that I've been thinking about for a really long time. And I was always like, okay, I'll eventually do it. Well, eventually came and now is eventually. So I'm making a planner, but what I'm really excited about is that these planners are literally being made with the help of you guys. 
Um, on my Instagram last week, I posted a Instagram Q&A. My Instagram is at Tori Sterling underscore. I posted on there, like, what do you guys want on the planner? You guys gave me so many ideas and also so many of what you guys said I already had included in the planner. So I really think this planner is going to be something that you will all benefit from and adore and love and i could not be more excited get ready though because it's going to be a thick boy planner like it's going to have like a thousand not really a thousand pages but a lot of pages because i am so micro with this planner and it's how i plan and it's how i live my life and I really think you guys will find a lot of value in it. I'm super excited. I'm in the midst of creating it now with Emma, who's an amazing creative, uh, what is she, a graphic designer, I guess. Um, she also works with Brooke and Danielle. That's how I found her. I like texted her and I was like, hey, are you looking for new clients or do you know anyone that is? And she's like, oh my God, I'll totally do it. So she has been incredible, so, so amazing. Um, all the love to her for helping me design it, but she's also so fast you guys So hopefully I can get this planner out to you guys by Black Friday and it can be like a Christmas present Holiday present. I just think that'd be so fun also for the new year just the best time for a new planner So we're trying our best to get it out as fast as possible um, I'm so excited so so excited and I hope you guys are too So if you guys have ever any ideas of what you want to see in the planner or literally anything at all, DM me, comment it down below. I will read them all and take every single, every single suggestion into a giant list. And I'm gonna try and get every single one because you guys are the consumers. And if you guys want it, I will try my best to make it. And I wanna do different editions. So the first edition is gonna be like the one that I've planned out. And then the second edition, I'd love to do one for school. And the third edition, I don't know, I didn't get that far, but like maybe entrepreneurs, I don't know. But I have big plans for the planners and I am so excited. So hopefully this will be coming out very soon. Um, keep an eye out for it. I still don't have a name for the planner and I don't know what I wanna call the planner. I have kind of an idea, but I don't know if I want it to be like a Tori D. Simone planner because there's like Aaron Condren planners, Corey Clark planners, planners, and those are just like their names with planner. So I don't want like Tori Simone planner or do I want like Dream Well Daily, like that's such a fun name or like um, the day designer, like those are fun names. So like, what do I want? What do I want? I was thinking like micromanage, but then does that have like a negative connotation? I don't know. So I'm figuring it out. Oh, um, the last thing is that I run now. Yes, I'm a runner. That's why I'm wearing a Garmin. Um, so I'm a little runner these days. My friend Brandy, who is also my realtor, she, and before that she was my client, she's just really awesome. She was like, do you want to run a half marathon? And I was like, sure, why not? So here we are running a half marathon and I did not expect to love it as much as I'm loving it. Um, I'm loving it and I'm having a really good time. I ran five miles yesterday and when you guys watch this, I would have run six miles on Sunday and I'm really proud of myself and it's just been really fun. It's been really challenging. It's been really mentally rewarding and exhausting and challenging. Um, but the biggest thing that I'm shocked about and that I've learned is that I like running without music and without my phone, without podcasts, nothing. Like I just like going out with just myself and my Garmin. I do way better when I don't have anything. I don't know, um, that's been very shocking to learn. But if you guys want more, like if you want running videos, we can totally add like that into the mix. Um, but I'm really, really excited and I'm super excited for this apartment and that's really the biggest thing that I'm so excited for. I'm all about new beginnings. I made a whole entire podcast episode actually about new beginnings when I listed my house and I was just saying how excited I am and yeah, I'm just so excited for new beginnings. So I could not be more thrilled that this is happening and that I'm moving and that I get a new beginning and a fresh start and a beautiful, beautiful space. And I'm so excited and I'm excited to like decorate for Christmas. And then I want to do like a decorate with Christmas for me vlog. I want to do like a Halloween get ready with me vlog. So I'm actually going to do a costume this year. I'm just really excited and I'm excited to share my journey with you guys and document this with you. And I hope that you are excited too. Um, but I'm just really happy to be back and uh, I just want to thank you guys for being patient with me and allowing me to take time off 
to find myself again on this platform. Like I said, I'm going to upload every Wednesday. And if you guys want video podcasts, that'll be every Monday. So there could be two uploads a week if you guys want a video podcast. I think that's all. My All my links are down below. I made an Amazon shop page. A lot of you guys ask for things. Um, on my Instagram that I post and pretty much my whole life is from Amazon. So I made an Amazon shop page. It's linked down below and I add to it a lot. Um, so if there's ever something you see in a video, it's probably on my Amazon shop page. Um, my Instagram is at Tori Sterling. My TikTok is at Tori Sterling. I don't really post on TikTok much, but I'm going to try and get better at it, especially with my new apartment. Really like this new apartment is like an awakening for me. It's like a new beginning and I'm, I could not be more excited. Guys, thank you. I love you. And the next time I talk to you guys will be next Wednesday when I'm doing a moving out vlog and condo tour. Guys, I love you. Have the best day ever and I will talk to you all soon. Goodbye.